Welcome to Kim's Creativity Hacks. Hello everybody, how are you today? Welcome to another of Kim's Creativity Hacks. And today we're going to be exploring the idea of taking a long walk. So this hack's a really interesting one for me. Um, I walk everywhere. I haven't had a car uh, for about eight years. Uh, I live in London and it's very easy to um, commute uh, in London and to not have a car. But one of the things I often do is choose to walk instead of perhaps taking the bus or, or taking a bus and a tube. So this is something that's quite central to my life. Um, you know, I go to Pilates once a week. There's a 25 minute walk there. There's a 25 minute walk back. I could get on the bus and be there in five minutes. Um, similarly, when I walk over to the school where I'm a trustee, I may be there once every week. Uh, and that's a 45 minute walk there and back. I could get a bus and a train, but I choose to walk. So I was thinking, so what actually constitutes a long walk? How long does a walk have to be to um, power up some of these creative juices? I'm also well known for um, losing myself um, in an area by just walking around. Um, I can, say, be somewhere in London that I don't know very well or um, peek down a little corner and decide, oh, that looks interesting, and off I go, and all of a sudden I've been walking around for an hour and discovering somewhere new. So certainly what I find is that walking around stimulates my creativity in terms of finding um, new places and exploring new things. But I wanted to share a different um, experience I had of creativity. I had an appointment I needed to be at, and it was a 30-minute walk to get there. So I'd set my alarm on my phone to give me time to pack up and go. And I'd spent um, a couple of hours before doing some brainstorming work on uh, potential um, themes for this series of creativity hacks um, and some other work. So I'm walking to my appointment along a fairly familiar route. It's not one I have to think about. You know, I go across the park and then wiggle away through some back streets. Um, and then it's fairly straightforward walk. And it's one I've done a number of times before. What I noticed in the first five minutes is that my brain was kind of full of all the work I'd been doing. And um, I wasn't really thinking very much about it. I wasn't trying to plan anything. I was just walking to my appointment and heading for that. But after about five minutes, what I noticed was that there was a story starting to form in my head. And over the next 25 minutes of the walk, the story of my last creativity hack, making small progress, pretty much wrote itself in my head. Now, luckily, I had my trusty ideas journal with me and I'll be doing a future creativity hack on uh, ideas journaling. But I had this with me. And when I got to my appointment, there was a little bit of a wait. So I just sat and downloaded this story that had written itself in my head into my ideas journal. When I got back home, I was able to film it really easily. So I don't know how long a walk really needs to be um, to stimulate um, creativity to get those juices going. Um, but out of this, I found that it added another string to my creativity bow. Obviously, the first thing is, is that you see new things that just goes into the, the creative bucket. The second thing is that it's a really good way to shut off the inputting for a while, to shut off all that brain external stimulation and to let it just percolate. So I'm a fairly typical right brainer. I have a bit of a bucket brain and I'm not a terribly linear thinker by nature. That's, that's been um, something I've needed to learn um, in order to get along with all the left brainer people in my life. Um, but what it means is that um, I've tapped into this, um, this resource, I guess, of 
quiet time for my brain to just sort through all that stuff and produce a little theme where I go, aha, that's how all of those things can link together. What a great story that will make. So um, I hope you've enjoyed um, this, uh, this creativity hack today. Thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed today's creativity hack um, and would like to give me some feedback or share your stories about um, walking for creativity uh, with me, please feel free to do that. Um, and also please feel free to um, like, share, if you think someone else could benefit or subscribe to this playlist on YouTube, which is called Kim's Creativity Hacks. So that's it from me today. Thanks again for tuning in. Get creative and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.